What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of this War of Mine Stories, Fading Embers. Uh, we're going to jump back in. Last episode we ended up taking off, um, I don't even remember his name now, but he's dead. Um, he froze to death. He, he wasn't that way when we left in the episode, second episode. But the third one he was, so we walked all the way over to the library with our pieces of art and everything like that. And we ended up right in here. So... Terrorized the BC City, Zondi made her way to the Museum of Pagorin, weaving around bomb craters and ducking into the cover of shattered houses when fresh barrage whistled overhead. She managed to safely move her collection and a handful of necessities. Leaving her home was not easy, but she felt it was her best chance for survival in her new shelter. New challenges awaited. Malena, who talked her into moving, moving in, was doing all she could to secure artworks collected in the museum. She lived on the premises with Zoran, her loyal friend and former janitor, who does his best to help her but she could definitely use another pair of hands. And that's where we are. We got the knight of our um, friend, whoever up there. And this lady's gonna um, do stuff. I know it must've been hard to leave your home behind. It was even harder than moving through with that. And forgetting about the dead guy. Don't worry, I cut his arms and legs up so you have something to eat. Trust me, you're much safer here and you can do a lot of good for our city. I see you brought some of your things with you. I took as much as I could to fit in the cart. Having to push this through didn't make it any easier. What counts is that you made it and we can start working. Come with me, I'll show you around. Okay, just don't take too long, alright? First, I have to show you the most important space in the whole building. The whole place is so big. This is our main warehouse that was used to store old documents and archives. Now we try to gather all of the most important and endangered pieces here. Um, this looks impressive. Decades of history must have been stored in these papers. You can check our main exhibits in the catalog later. Now come, there's so much more I need to show you. Okay. Let's go to my office. There's a lot more you need to see. Look at her run. Go, go, go. What they're doing here despite the war is truly amazing. Can you run or something? Okay. This is my office. Feel free to enter whenever you need. That's where you can usually find me if I'm around, of course. You can also check our current list of tasks that need handling here. Am I following you again? The man we just passed is our janitor. Oh crap, I gotta follow her. We have a lot, lots of work to do. Let's go upstairs. Well, you could have started saying that earlier. Holy crap. Talk to the janitor. I think the staircases are smoked out. And... Hi, I'm Zo Zohan. I'm really happy that you finally decided to join us. Well, it wasn't an easy decision to make, but the house started to smell because his body was rotting. But I hope we can be of any help to you. What do you mean we? It's only you. Uh, sure thing you can. There's plenty to do. Uh, we're sorting exhibits and documents, securing whatever we can. It's just the two of you doing all this work? It's the two of us, and Milena is often out. She wanders all over Pagorn trying to save as many artworks as possible. That sounds incredibly risky. Oh, you bet it is, but, well, that's Milena. She'd give anything to protect our heritage. Even her life. That's what she's like. You'll see when you get to know her better. She can be haughty and blinded by her mission at times. But she's a really good person and she's trying to do the right thing. Cool. Good to know. Let's go up and talk to her. Not like it's... Uh... Come on. Taking for freaking ever. This wing was hit really bad during the bombardment. We must reinforce the structure, but we lack the people and materials. It doesn't look good. 
do you think it will hold? Not for long. We have to reinforce the pillars to buy us more time. We have to collect and secure all the exhibits and documents in these rooms. What do you do with those items later? We keep them in the main warehouse until we can find a better solution. Now, Cameron, there's one more thing I need to show you. Okay. I'm going to be right behind you this time. Nope, you walk a lot faster than me. Sorry. In the end, the museum is and always was for the people. I'll show you our main wing. So we may end up having to collect things to put in each one of these little sections, maybe to complete the game. I can only imagine how these hallways must have looked filled with visitors. Oh. As part of the museum, our museum is our exhibition space, or what's left of it. There are still some items left on the display. The others are packed in boxes in the back. I'm sure you know the painting we're looking at right now. Of course, it's the Battle of Leech Swamp, a commemoration of a great victory. I'll miss all Vicente know the story in this painting. Yes, I brought you here to show you the importance of what we're doing. The value of this painting is extraordinary. Many people would like to put their hands on it. But for our people, it's priceless, like many other exhibits in the museum. Our heritage. Yes, this famous painting and your family's collection are important in the same way. They make us who we are. Please remember that. I'll leave for now. I'll leave you for now. If you have any questions, you can usually find me in the orifice. All right. This painting reminds me of something. My papa. I know my grandpapa. I think I've already been here long ago. Wow. Yep. This is when it was all bustling with like good people and there he is. He's gonna teach me about art. So Anya, are you enjoying our little trip? Of course. This museum is huge. It's like ten of our houses. Yeah. One day you'll live here. Ah, indeed, kid. But tell me, what do you think about this painting? I love it. It has knights and horses. That's not all what it is, you dummy. But do you know who these knights are? Um, are they Vicente? Oh, yes. Our proud Calvary in the famous Battle of Leech Swamp. They really need to rename that swamp. It's one of the glorious moments from our past. A time when we were still a free and proud nation. You know, Grandpa, I think... When I grow up, I want to be a knight. Of course you do. You don't want to be an artist anymore? Well, as a knight, I could fight for Visenya and with my sword. Uh, with my sword. Oh, sure, my child, but you see, you don't always need a sword to fight. You can win with nothing more than a brush in your hand. Aww. So that'd be hilarious if the little art piece was gone. Okay, so we got crap to dig out. Things to do. We got, oh, we have to fix the supports over there. We got some food over here. So we have stuff, that's for sure. Um, she's tired though. Does she, is there? Yes, there is. Okay. Wait, what's up here? She can search through things. Okay. Um, some stuff there. Can I get up here? Yeah, okay. No, I can't. She's got her little shovel. Now, I should probably work my way out. It's plus three. I haven't had much sleep lately. Shut up. Quit your whining. Yeah, if we can clear out a lot of these things, then hopefully it'll give us access to uh, a few more things that we can do. It's so unfair. You're unfair. 
Okay, run across here. See, we do have quite a few things that we can look through. I don't think there's anything else we can break into that. Okay, we just have the furnace there. So it seems like some of our stuff came along with us. Okay, she got that. Let's start off at the far side and we'll work our way inwards, collecting as much as we can. And we can look at these, like we'll pick a day or an episode and we'll look at all the different pictures and stuff and we'll see what each one of them says because there's quite a few. So I don't want to commit to looking at everything and being like, um, wow, this is like a 45 minute episode. Plus we've already done stuff. And so we'll pick maybe a couple episodes from now. We'll see what we look like, what shape we're in for next episode. We'll die if we can't heat it up soon. Do we have any, uh, we don't. So we're going to have to use some of the wood. To, uh, make stuff for the things. For here. That's what I'm referring to. And this has to, we have to do something here. So we might have to take a look at doing that. You know what? Let me go down here first. Let's see. Yeah. I gotta do it. Otherwise, everybody else is gonna freeze in here, including myself. See, we're dropping as we go, too, so. Then we'll go up here and we'll take a look at what this entails. And if we got time, we could do a nap. Okay, we're out. And maybe what we can... I don't know. We'll see what places are available. Maybe what we could do is just sleep and then we'll hit this place here. So we need... Oh, shit. Uh, huh. Alright. So we kind of screwed ourselves there. We got stuff we can unlock and break in and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, right here. No, no, that's a bad. Let's go here. Don't get sniped, please. Yeah, I think we're done till seven. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll hang out here. Unless we need wood. I might have to go out. Problem, I shouldn't have made all that wood into uh, what I did. Actually, I got this one here. This one here. Yeah, I might just end up sleeping. We're getting close to the end of the day, too. There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can make it up there. I can't remember if it's seven or eight that that calls. She'll be super tired the next day, but that's okay. We can maybe rest the next day. I don't know. But we'll get her to fix this up. Temperature's almost perfect. Okay, so this is going to take an hour. I think we're running out of time.
but you can see the support itself is screwed like we're already halfway so I think we'll be done by 750 which I don't know if that goes all the way back up should last for some time okay well did something uh, we have the supermarket food materials meds and parts see this is 58% done that's 56 only materials there materials tools and weapons we could check out this um, but you know what I'm gonna do sleep in bed no wait you sleep on the floor you sleep in the bed and we're gonna stay here for the night this is gonna be the episode we're not ending it here don't don't worry we're gonna clean out this area here that we're in um, and that was calm apart from the echo of distant shots let's hope it doesn't get any worse so that went like quite a bit bigger I don't think there's anything else we can do with that we may have to repair it later but um, I want to clear out the rest of this area we've got one two three four five six seven eight more spots to clear out and I think we had I thought there was something else I saw no we got snow okay grab that how is she gonna get out of here oh that's just him sorry she's uh she's doing something else okay hang on grab all She's here. Go over here. She's hungry. We need more of that. Wait, do we do we not have a stove? We, we don't. What? Why don't we have a stove? Oh, crap crap dude okay well, what else can she do can she do anything over here at all okay maybe we'll just make her go to sleep for a bit you go over here and I might have to oh no, okay it's interchangeable that's good But we can make another bed, and then we should make another stove, too. Yeah, because we'll need, uh... I'm surprised... That's just the heater. I'm surprised they didn't have, like, a stove or anything here. Okay. Go over here. Slept poorly, and he's hungry. I bet. Okay. There. Now her. She can go in here, and she can start making that stove. Um. Hmm. Uh. There. So she's up there. He's in here. And then we can make a bed. And we got a little more food. Because I'd prefer not to um, waste the food, right? So I don't want them to. I want to see how he gets up here. He just jumps up on here. Yeah. Yeah, because then we can get real food being made. We can make two per each batch. And then we'll probably have to make something to do with food around here as well. Okay, so that should be everything. I don't know exactly what all these are. Uh, if we need to grab these or... Okay, we can put it into a box. Okay, so he's doing that. So we got to move all these things into here is what the deal is. Uh... Okay, you've got that, so in here. Um, 
I'd rather not use the wood. We need more. One more piece of wood and then we can make a bed. Or is it eight? Five more. Okay. Then we can make some half decent food. Okay. Make that. Okay, he's doing his thing over there. She's got her thing. This I gotta get out of here just in case this thing breaks. Because I think this is gonna be something that's gonna be really nasty. Um, you eat yourself some food and then go up and get this cleared out because if this collapses, well, whatever. But at least this way we can uh, say that that part is secured. I won't be able to go up there, but that might make this one get all messy and screwy. Okay, so I can't do that. So she's going to move that. So he's got that done. It's cold and chilled to the bone. Shut up. Um, it's hungry. Okay, so we got half of that done. Get him to eat, and then we'll get him to grab the other part of that. I wonder if she's just going to do her own thing, or... Because I only have the two characters, so I wonder if things will just disappear, and that's her eating it, or whatever, so... I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so he can go up here, he can get that. Because we're going to have to take three boards every time this gets low, and fix it. And if it gets to this one, then we're screwed. Okay, so that's done there. She's going into here. Because it is going down, and it only takes... Like, we were over here at the beginning of the day. So, in two days, it's gone. So, every two days, we have to come up with something. Okay, are you done yet? Get over here and grab that. Try to secure as much as we can. Uh, okay. Taking you long enough, buddy. Holy smokes. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff over here that we got to end up putting in here. Probably call the episode in about seven minutes. It'll be 30 minutes long-ish. Slept poorly. Okay, so he can go here, I guess. It's almost eight o'clock again. Okay, so that's done. She's going over here to put it in there. He won't get that done, I don't think. So he can, uh, yeah, and he can sleep in bed, prepare, um, now you know what, <clears throat> I'm going to do this again, we're going to stay in again. And we have enough food and everything like that. I think the only concern is going to be the, uh, the wood. Anyone here? I've heard you can help me hide something. Hello. I don't mean to bother you, but do you run this place? Yes, my name is Melina. What brings you here? The word on the street is that you help with keeping things hidden. I guess that depends on what kind of things we're talking about. All I'm interested in is gathering artworks of important for artworks important for our culture. We must preserve them for future generations. Oh, that's great. Here, take these books. Wait, these are old and beautiful, beautifully illustrated and valuable. My papa used to read these tales to me when I was young. 
My house has been raided twice already. The bandits didn't find them then, but I can't take the risk anymore. If I survive this war, maybe I could take them back, but for now, please keep them safe. All right, don't worry. I will keep them safe for you. Take care. Thank you, dear. Thank you, and God bless you. Okay, so tale of Roscoe Brothers Collection said a beautifully illustrated classic fairy tales. Uh, handwritten notes. This can be quite valuable, so we've been asked to keep them in our collection as their owner won't be able to hide them by herself. Okay, so she slept poorly. Um, wait, she can go over here. And he can go here and finish this off. Okay, and... Okay, so that's done. And this guy's coming over here. He's hungry. She's hungry. And then I think in the next episode, we're definitely going to have to go out. How is this looking? Pretty bad. And it's slowly ticking down, so might not make it through the night. But at least I got the artwork out. That's all I can say. Okay, so he's got that done. So that's that one done, I believe. Hers is the only other one left, so hopefully... What else is there here? Yeah, because this is gonna... Yeah, see, it's still going. Okay, come over here. Okay, put that in a box. Secure it. She's doing her thing over there. And surprisingly, like they normally uh, said it in a couple episodes before, that they usually would have things you could break down. Now, yeah, we could use that lady's books as um, kindling. And I'm really wishing I hadn't used the wood. Okay, Anya, uh, you need to... You need to go here for a sec getting really cold in here oh wait him put that away okay yeah see we need uh, we have three pieces of wood okay we're okay I have to do it and then I gotta get up here and we can only temporarily fix it so um you know, go up here. Her. Uh, go here. Get out of the way, Malena. Yeah, see, we need one of these. Which we still need a thermometer and all that crap, too. Oops. Can I talk to you for a sec? No? Okay. Haha, <laughs> beat to it. Okay, he's up there waiting because I have a feeling that that's going to be doing things. Uh, move the collection to the main storage. Uh, the right wing of her building was badly hit during the light latest bombing, or last bombing. It's the most former office areas, but there's still some exhibits and none documents we can store it there. We need this to secure them as possible. The structure's weekend may not last for long. Uh, Anya decided to join the museum. A special set of books has been handed to us by a concerned lady. Okay. Build another heater. We have to build a second heater to heat the museum more efficiently. The temperature inside is dropping rapidly, so we should keep the temperature above 10 degrees to make sure this piercing cold won't hurt us. Okay, so... So we need more wood. Yeah. That's going to be the biggest problem is getting wood. Not for me. I mean in the game. Yeah, we need to take, to take care of those places. Yeah, we do. I mean, isn't that fire providing warmth? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Where are you? Where are you? Stay up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back up. Okay. Anya, come over here. Go back over here and get that one thing. Okay, so everything else is okay there. Okay. 
I got one piece left to move. Okay. So that's being done. Twinkle Toes over here. He's, uh... We really need, um, lumber and wood. Like, to... To really be able to secure this place off. We've done everything we can. And I'm waiting to see if this thing is going to collapse. Maybe it won't be best if I make him stand around. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what to do. Come on. Come over here. Okay. How do you feel about your new home? I'm still adjusting. I guess I need more time to get familiar with everything. Uh, you can talk to Zoran if you haven't already had a chance. He can tell you more about living here under a mission. Thanks. I realized that they've been here before a long time ago with my grandpa. Oh yes, he used to visit us from time to time. He was a kind man, such a delight to talk to him in front a font of tales from all over Vizenia. I miss him so much, right now more than ever. Of course, everyone know who knew him does. But you know what? I'm sure he would be proud of you and the decisions you've made. Thank you, I hope you're right. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can repair this anymore. So we got rid of the one piece of art that was there, so that's good. Did you see that woman who brought us her books? It reminded me again of how important our mission is. People seem to trust you and Milena with their belongings. Oh yes, when the war started, many people brought their valuables here. They knew that if there was one person to be able to keep their things safe, it had to be Milena. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to repair this again, so uh, we're over 30 minutes. I want to hang out for a minute just to see if anything happens, but I'll let her rest. Yes, she's hungry, but whatever. We'll figure that out tomorrow. I've had enough sleep. Well, screw you then. No, those are the notes. I don't need the notes. Um, I just want to see if this is going to collapse. Like, it's not looking good. And we only got three hours left, so I'll call the episode after we see what happens here, because we don't have a choice to fix it again. So it looks like we just kind of bolstered it so we could get the artwork out of there, and that was it. But I'm wondering if when this collapses, it puts pressure on this one. And then we have to uh, find a new way around without messing that up. There was nothing else out here. And just the snow out there. Yeah, we've cleared everything out. We have nothing else that we can do. So I want to watch this, see what happens, and then uh, we'll call the episode great, pretty much right here. Look at that. Probably, oh, through the night. The crap is going to be all screwed up. But you know what? We'll figure this out in the next episode. Sorry, guys, I gotta do <laughs> the little thing. I'm just thinking if we go into the night, we end up... Uh, well, no, you know what? No, we'll be fine. Because if we're gonna go into the night, then that would save it just as the day... Because I'm, I'm thinking about the next day. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll cut here because there's no nothing going on. And I can't do anything. I have to actually scavenge now. Which is what I'm going to do. We have another abandoned house. Lots of parts, but there's danger. But a group of bandits use, uh, using this abandoned house as a hideout. Might be worth sneaking in for supplies. You have to be very careful not to be spotted. So we'll probably do the supermarket in the next episode. Thank you guys for the love and support. And uh, we will see what happens, I guess, to the building. I thought maybe it would collapse before the end of the day. But we'll... Uh, We'll do the scavenging in the next episode, so I'll meet you right here in the next one. Thanks again for the love and support, and I will see you next time. Take care.